So Tom, well, we've brought this down now to you in technical department and we're going to look at, uh, at getting this to a level of hygiene that's required for you to be able to work on it and we'll talk about that in a second but, but also we're going to look at changing um, the fan on it. There is some dust and things here in the lid so yeah, from your point of view... It's not my point of view, I mean it's not clean enough for me to work on. The mm. DEFRA website says that all equipment and vehicles must be cleaned and disinfected before it leaves the room. And all breeders are responsible for this, I have a legal responsibility. So all breeders now have a legal responsibility to make sure yeah, a machine is completely clear and, and, and disinfected before, before it comes even into our premises now. Yeah. And equally, you know, before because it leaves we, their premises. Before it leaves their premises. Yeah. Uh, and equally, we have a responsibility because we don't want to um, potentially yeah. contaminate other machines that we're working on with dust and things that come yeah. in from a machine like this. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the detail in here where, you know, it's just not clean enough inside and and basically we're down to to removing this inner lid aren't we yeah yeah okay so let's look at that then so remove the inner lid just which we... it's really quite simple to do four screws four screws yeah to the, to the wall there simple simple phillips screwdriver there yeah get one that fits yeah. This is a EX version, but uh, the, yeah. the Eco and, and the Advance will be exactly the same. Yeah. So that comes out four screws. Yeah. Turn it over. Screws will come out. You can see the build up of muck and dust. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. And again around the fan. The fan just literally lifts up and unplugs from there. Right. And that's the, and fan, that's out the fan out. And let's have a quick look at that. So that. Oh, geez is really pretty dirty in there and eventually if that's left anyway i mean it's just it's just something that people should do on a regular basis anyway is, is, yeah, is clean out their machines clog the fan up and obviously restrict the airflow right if left in there yeah and that will then affect the temperature yeah. regulation in the machine and things so mm -hmm. so it's it's just good practice to do this anyway yep okay so that's the fan now if 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 we had a fan problem effectively we do exactly the we same. We do exactly the same. We could send the customer a fan and they could simply replace that fan in just the way that we've taken it out now. Yeah, yeah. reverse the fitting is to um, plug it back in there. That's a little silly. So you can see the connector has yeah. two pin holes and a, and a groove and there, yeah. A groove and the connector in there has two pins and a, a blade sticking out. Yeah. I think I can get that. Yeah. yeah. Got that, yeah. So the blade just goes into there. You may need just to push it down with a screwdriver if you've got big fingers. And there we go. And the thing to remember about the fan is it must go with the label facing down. Label facing down. And it fits on, it just literally sits over the four pillars like it's that. Got, so. Okay, four little pillars and the corners just fit on there. Yeah. And it's as simple as that. Okay. So, so just make sure that the, the connection leads, you can fit it a couple of ways around like that. Yeah. Right, we normally fit them out that way because it just takes the slack out of the wires. Yes. Just make sure the wires aren't in there and it spins freely, there's nothing on it. And, that's and then it. the revert bolt the top back down. With the X mod, you have to make sure when you put in the, the inner case back. That sits on the top over to the fan and those two holes line up so you can put your tubing back from Oh, okay, because you've got the tubing needs to go. You just yeah. need to make sure those, li those holes line yeah. up there. Okay. So the tubing goes back in there then, like right, so. Okay. To the pump. But right. Cool. Okay. So that's that's the fan replacement. As simple as that. That's simple. So uh, cleaning. Well, what we normally use is uh, this is uh, just normal Brinsley disinfectant yeah. diluted with water. Yeah. I so that disinfectant we dilute a, a teaspoon in a pint of water, basically normally. Yeah, maybe a little bit stronger. Than that. But that's all. I, do. I don't spray it into the machine because you want to be careful. You don't get on sensors. Or right. Like that. You put it on. You, you make a cloth damp with with, with yeah. the, uh, the disinfectant. And then just and then just wipe round. That's all. Like so. The base and the fan guard, if you want to, this could be just put into some water, into a sink. Or yes. Some water. So immersed in warm water, not 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 hot water as such, but warm water again, and yeah, some disinfectant. Disinfectant, and the same thing. So just be a little bit careful 
Yeah. When you're wiping around, can you see there's a little sensor? Which sensor is that? To That's talk? the temperature humidity sensor. That's the temperature humidity sensor. So, so just be careful when you're wiping around there. Yeah. yeah. Just try and get in everywhere. It takes a little while, but you can get a little dirt in there. Wipe around. And we have many customers who send machines in absolutely spotless like this, and it makes our life much easier. And the other thing is that, uh, you know, if, well, yeah. if a machine is sent in dirty, A, we can't do it anymore because the, of, of the regulations, but B, even when we could, it would cost, it would cost our customers in the end because it would be oh, time yeah. spent doing this. Yeah. So it saves everybody a lot of time if, if the customer can actually take this. And it doesn't take, what does it take? It really depends on how dirty the machine is. If it yeah. was, I've had machines which have been so dirty, I've had to strip them down yeah. completely. And of course, that just costs the customer more money. Yeah, sure. Probably half an hour to do this if we, you know, if, if we yeah, do it like this. Half, I would say um, about half an hour, three quarters of an hour. So you yeah. can strip the machine down, clean it, put it back together. Yeah. Spit, turn it, the best thing also to remember is to put it back on and dry it out, yeah. run, run it for you know, a couple of hours, oh, right, okay. so you just give it all a good polish up. Yeah. I would recommend doing this usually after every hatch because you get so much muck in there. Definitely wash the base off yeah. and the egg tray, wash all them down. And that would be particularly the case, I mean, you know, we have customers now increasingly using, particularly the Maxi 2 Eco, they're using it as a hatcher and so yeah. of course if you're hatching in it regularly, you're going to build up fluff and dust in there big time, yeah. aren't you? So, well, it's, so it's, it should be a really regular thing you should do on this. It's good practice to yeah. keep it uh, clear, because you avoid just uh, infections. Yeah, something. absolutely. Okay. So that's the top more yeah. Brilliant. That Neat. looks much nicer, doesn't it? Okay, cool. Yeah. That's good, nice and clean, yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, that's for the fan. Um, so for the two, fan? Two ways of doing that. Right. One is to I'll get a clean piece of rag. Yep. And again, don't spray or submerge the fan at all, because no. it will ruin it. Yeah. So, get nice so make the cloth damp again. And give it a white round. Yep. The other way of doing it is if you've got a paintbrush. Right. So getting a paintbrush and a, and a hoover. We'll do now is give that a wipe off. I was just going to say, yeah. while you've got the, the top of them, if you've got like dirt down in there and you want to get at it, or dirt dirt down in, sort of down in there in the sensor. In the sensor, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, if you get so yeah. you can do that as well just to, yeah. yeah. And then just out cloth again. So, okay. okay, just wipe off that fan gently because. Yeah, I'm doing this quickly, aren't okay. I? Yeah. That's it, get your finger in there, move the bleeds around a bit. A machine that's regularly cleaned and looked after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a three year warranty, but it should last ten years at least, shouldn't it, really? I mean, it's no reason why it shouldn't if it's looked after. Yeah, if, if you. um Keep them nice and clean and dry. Yeah. At the end of the season, you should really clean the machine out like this. Then run it, dry it out, and put it away in a box and put it away somewhere. Yeah. You know. it's, at the end of the day, it's an electrical equipment. You don't want to leave it in. No. Uh, no. The rain, something. Sort of reasonably clean. Uh, reasonably clean. Yeah. Okay, you can spend Good. a lot of time here. Good. Again, so then you um, just need to clear that back in. You can use your screw screwdriver again, to help put, put it in. Off. There we are. Yeah, make sure it's in, give it a little tip. Yeah. And then we'll tape the fan onto on the, the four pillars. pillars. Yeah. So make sure the fan will, if you push down the fan, it's, uh, it won't rock or anything. No, it's located. It's spinning around. Yeah. And then, as I said, 
for it when you put it back together. On the EX in particular, just make sure that um, you yeah. align the two holes there so that you can uh, yeah. you can put the, uh, the little tube back in to feed the water. Okay. Well. No need to over tighten the screws. Right. I'm not trying. I'm not forcing out. It. it goes down to the stops, yeah. and that's it. That's yeah. all you need to do. So not, not over tightening them. Yeah. yeah. And again, important not to over tighten them because if you do over tighten them, you can strip the thread. Yeah. And it's important to be able to take this inner cover off regularly. So yeah. So um, if you over tighten it, you'll strip the start thread. The more you over tighten it. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, yeah. stripping the thread yeah. is not yeah. covered by our warranty. So. Good. And that is basically it. That looks that nice yeah. and clean now, doesn't it? So we're just putting that final tube back in. On this is the EX version where you've got the humidity pump, so that needs to feed water through. Yeah. So and there's that's, that's all in place now. Yeah. Okay. Seems really good. Brilliant. Obviously, the egg tray, like I say, the egg disc in there, that base can, yeah. can be put into water, and that's taken out, that can be put into some warm, soapy water and just soaked if it's got some stubble in dirt. Yeah. So um, I wouldn't advise customers to start removing the circuit board and things like that. No. But just wipe Just that, that inner yeah. linen thing. And be, like I say, be careful of the uh, sensor. Yes. Just be careful, be careful of the sensor. the sensor. But that's it. You can see the sensors there. Um, you find on the advanced and the uh, eco versions, the sensors are slightly different. Look slightly different, but right. Obviously, you haven't got. But that's basically. Yeah, I mean, there's some. That's a reasonably clean machine. I'd Good. be happy to receive that. Good. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much.